Um, what books did you read in high school? Uh, all the classics. A lot of Shakespeare. I had a really, actually had a really great lit teacher. Um, so we did a lot of Shakespeare. Um, in middle, well, you didn't ask about middle school. Remember, like the circle, let the circle be unbroken, and shit. Like, oh, okay, well, it's like this weird book about like sharecropper children. Um, I honestly don't remember it at all. Um, that well, but we read a lot of Shakespeare, definitely. Um, a lot of like classic canonical white literature. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird is probably one of my favorite books. Um, I also read like um, four of Shakespeare's plays, um, As I Lay Dying, um, um, uh, what's the one by Zora, um, Their Eyes Are Watching God, um, things like that. Uh, Hunger Game, I read November Blues. Um, I read some John Green. Mm, I mean, that was, was it John Green for a class or was it for personal reading? Um, started off for summer reading, then mm -hmm. it became personal reading. Um, I read Their Eyes Were Watching God. Um, uh, we read stuff like The Catcher in the Rye, um, Things Fall Apart. Uh, the Odyssey, classic books like that. But like outside of that, I read a lot of like Harlem Renaissance books sometimes. So those are pretty interesting. But like, by males usually. John Green shit. John Green shit. of my teenage existence, despite the clear absence of black womanhood, of black girlhood, of this blackness in these texts. And I read these texts mainly to um, relate to my peers. You know, I wanted to read what my friends were reading. This is not to say that I read these books purely out of some sense of obligation. Truthfully speaking, they were just the right concoction of drama and romance. Um, furthermore, it was just so different from the reality I was living. A lot of, I really love supernatural texts. Um, but anyway, this is to say that um, I got to be a spectator of sorts when I read these books. I could read the heartbreaking story of Augustus and Hazel and leave behind that broad grief within that, those pages. I could revel in the supernatural world of Delirium by Lauren Oliver and contemplate, you know, what love and all these other emotions that make up our lives, that make up our humanity, what does that have to do with how I conduct myself on this earth? I could think about those things, but I did not have to think about race or my gender or how these two compound together to make up my existence. I could talk about these texts all day and night with my friends without ever having to dig deeper. I found myself in a false sense of complacency with these texts. Um, I didn't have to think about my place as a young black girl in a predominantly white space, such as Albany, New York, or my high school. So I decided to start again. Uh, as I listened to these girls speak, I realized that these conversations were focusing on the wrong thing. Uh, my advisor and I, Dr. Sophie Lee, uh, really pushed me to really think about why I grew tired of questions of representation. He really pushed me to reevaluate why the idea that we needed 
more stories about uh, with main characters of color or uh, more stories written by authors of color became so stale for myself and the members of the book club. Um, so when I thought about the girls who were in the club, um, who made the who made the book club what it was, we realized, my professor and I, that for them the young adult genre wasn't about this illusion of presence, um, meaning that for them the young adult genre wasn't miserable because they weren't there. These girls didn't miss black girlhood and popular texts because they were engaging with the young adult genre in a multi-sexual way. None of us, myself included, um, were ever really hurt about our absence uh, in the John Green shit because we realized that it wasn't actually for us in the first place. Understanding the ways in which uh, these white, realistic, young adult novels were constructed, how they leave no room for characters of color, and how their storylines rarely intersect with the ontologies of black girlhood, what makes black girls black girls, our absence was expected and it was accepted. Um, for myself in the book club, the young adult genre has just become trite entertainment because of this lack of substance for black women. So, expanding this project, um, I wanted to not only focus on representation, but what we as young adult readers actually desire from the text. What do we actually want to see? Um, so much of the conversation surrounding black literature has been that of wanting to see blackness um, and how does blackness be represented uh, in a dignified manner in literature. We, and I say this with myself included, um, as well as my book club, um, tend to focus so much on having a good visage of blackness, of black resilience, of black art, of black beauty, um, in literature that we limit our vision, of black, we limit our visions of blackness to the nightmares of its reality. We focus so much on the possible ramifications of um, such depictions, on the non-imaginative um, <laughs> anti-black audience, um, such as reading for stereotypes of a violent blackness, uh, that we lose sight of the stories of blackness that we need um, that paint us in a multitude of ways. And we're putting this into context um, of the book club, nicknamed BCBG, Book Club for Black, black Girls, <laughs> a book club made, made for black girls to come into community with one another, um, to, to share our love and our distrust of the written word, the many faces of blackness become that much more important. Um, it just becomes that much more vital in the truth. Looking around the room for one hour a week, discussing our relation to the novels um, from our various points of reference as black women, as Afro Latinas, um, and we also have one Asian woman, um, Asian American woman as well, knowing that we can all can freely explore our identities and how they are caged and simultaneously freed um, by literature is representative of a space that we don't really give to girls of color. Um, that is provided to our white counterparts. We truly get to say, what if?